What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And uh, today I will be doing a step-by-step -step process of a leaf cleanup job that I did last week. Um, it was a light leaf cleanup job, wasn't nothing fancy, but I want to show you all the equipment that I use and why I use this particular equipment. Um, it's mainly because that's all the equipment that I have. So it's my only option, but I'm still going to tell you why I used it. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Say hello to my little friend. All right, people, uh, somebody messaged me earlier uh, this week asking me um, if they should get a uh, bagging system for the Troy Built Mustang. They said they recently got a Troy Built Mustang and they wanted to get a bagging system for it, but they weren't sure because people tell them it's a residential mower and they weren't sure whether it would be worth it. And I told them it would 100% be worth it. Uh, it all depends on how much you plan to use residential equipment. You can't use it like it's commercial equipment, but if you want to use it for specialized things like uh, bagging leaves or something like that that you don't use it all the time, it will be perfect. It's just like uh, you see me here um, using my bagging system. Now. Um, first thing I want you to note is how slow I'm going. Uh, what you have to realize is that the residential equipment don't come with the extra uh, mulching blade or motor that's on the side chute. Um, so that, what that motor does, it not only shreds up the, the leaves a second time after the blades are shredded up, it also helps blow it up the tube into the bag. So it won't get the tube won't get clogged. With the residential bagging system, uh, it doesn't have that. So if you go too fast and try to stuff too much leaves into that uh, bagging system, uh, it'll get clogged. So it's best just to take your time, go very slow. And so basically, that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, this is uh, another clip of me. Um, going around the trees um, always keep in mind that the blades are blowing the leaves to the right that's how lawnmowers all lawnmowers are designed because that's why the blades spin that certain way um, it's in, in an effort to blow the leaves out the chute or in this case up the bagging tube so with that being said especially when I'm going through leaves where both of my blades are cutting the leaves up I go super slow but if possible I like to go only with the left blade chopping up the leaves um, I leave the right blade break blade free to be like a second chop so basically the the left blade is doing all the work the right blade is chopping up the leaves and sending it up to shoot because if you try to go with the whole mower going through the leaves which I'm doing here pay no attention to that <laughs> sometimes you got to do it you, you can't avoid it like I said I'm trying to get around the tree here but uh, when you do that and you go too fast it automatically clogs up
right here what you see is me doing my bagging process I told y'all before like you know this is one reason why I was super excited about getting the better of my truck back was because I get the bag and I know a lot of people hate bagging and I hated bagging I've avoided it for so many years but when you have unloaded as many trailer loads as leaves as I am I have bagging is so awesome you know I, I load it in the bag like this put it in the back of my truck go to the dump toss it out nice and clean and I get to carry more equipment on my trailer awesome all right so what I'm doing right here this is the process I basically have gone over all of the yard with my bagging lawnmower my Troy Bill Mustang and of course there's gonna be some leaves that's like matted down it's matted down to the point where the bagging system couldn't get them because it's like on it's like bare spots on the ground or whatever or it might be some areas on the tree that uh, leaves got up on the, the mulch and stuff and then it might be some areas where the leaves are on the street you might have blown on the sidewalk on the street so here is where I, the process of me just kind of fluffing everything up making sure everything's back on the grass now I'm going to use my yard vac here but if you don't have a yard vac but you have the bagging system this is where you just go back over it with your bagging system maybe lower it down one notch and whatnot uh, just to get these leaves the remaining leaves uh, and clean it up but as you see I have a bag I have a yard vac so this is why I love my yard vac I try to promote people to get yard vacs all the time um, they're just awesome you know it's a nice finisher to the job so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, you know you, you can rake it if you don't got a yard bag you don't got a bagging system and you cleaned up the yard use a rake but we have either a bagging system or a yard bag they're freaking awesome Alright people, here is the before. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. Not too shabby. Uh, like I said, it was an easy process, and that's why I want to show this to you guys. It is, it's not too tough, um, as long as you have the right strategy and um, the right tools. So, you don't have to get big fancy tools, like I said. All of that stuff that I had, I used in this video is basically residential equipment. I mean, unless you want to say the Husqvarna 150BT is commercial equipment, maybe, I don't know. The Mustang was residential, uh, the Yarvac was residential, I had a residential trash can, <laughs> and a residential blower, so, uh. Yeah, hope that helps some people, uh, especially the, uh, the guy that was asking me about the uh, Troy Bill bagging system. 
If you want me to go into more detail, make more videos like this, let me know. Leave it in the comments section, please. I say that all the time. Sometimes people do it, but not all the time. Anywho, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.